biggest changes over the next five years, I think, are going to come in two areas. I think you'll see blockchain play a role in a distributed ledger environment and helping the industry um, kind of move forward. There's some business structures today that rely on intermediaries, and I think it's a very big possibility that blockchain can play a role. It may take three to five years for it to, to materialize. The other area that I see changing in the next five years is um, really the use of machine learning or um, let's just call it augmented intelligence. There's so much information out there today. It's growing at an accelerated rate that I think the normal ways to ingest and process data, i.e. humans reading and learning and watching, they just need some augmented intelligence. You need machines cutting through the data and finding insights that make sense. And so we, we already see that happening today inside of State Street and outside of State Street. Let me give you an example of something we're working on with respect to what would it look like. So just think about if you're an investment professional today, you wake up every morning, you probably turn the news on, probably Squawk Box or MSNBC, you probably read the Wall Street Journal, the Financial Times, uh, you travel into work, you listen to the radio. So what are you doing? You're ingesting information, you're taking it all in and you're trying to watch everything and read everything to know what you need to know about. What impacts my portfolio today? What's my exposure to that? Just imagine if machines could be ingesting and reading that throughout the day and then bringing connections, actually knowing what the relationship is of that news article to your port underlying portfolio or security that you own. That is very possible today through machine learning and natural language processing. In three years, 50% of the workforce will be millennials, between the ages, let's say, 22 and, and 35. And we know that they want a mobile, personalized digital experience. So, take a lot of what we've talked about with machine learning and blockchain, and it just isn't delivering it to a desktop. Uh, it's delivering it to your mobile device and delivering it in a way that it's an experience that they expect. So it's, uh, it's clear, it's clean, it's simple insights, and it's a mobile to desktop strategy. So it's a, it's a two-prong approach. It's, it's the experience and how people want to consume these insights, because again, we're distilling a lot of data into a signal, and how can you interact with that, and how can you make that mobile? Personalized means all of this needs to be relative to your portfolio and relative to what is, is meaningful to you. You, the individual portfolio manager, you, the individual customer. So those will be challenges for the industry, but that's where we're moving at State Street.